Hey Mark, this video is mainly for you, but anybody else that's interested in, uh, we were talking about adjusting the bias using a spectrum analyzer and not measuring the bias current. And I think this may be the last time my meter over there gets hooked up to a radio to measure bias current, because I think this is a much, a much better way of tried it now, been fiddling with the pots, and yeah, that's a whole nother story, but and actually, yeah, you'll see there's some different looking trimmers in here, that's because whatever blankety blank 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 between the engineers telling them they needed glue, and then the jackass that actually poured the glue in these things, you get these little tiny ferrite beads on these resistors, they only need a drop of glue on them, nah man, they get in there with the damn gallon jug and just dump it in these radios, of course, what did they pour all over? The bias adjustment pots. And you can see this one, I even ended up ripping it trying to pull the damn thing out because the underside was just completely covered in glue it was stuck to the board but the glue got underneath in between the wipers you can see how it's shiny down in there kind of but yeah so i had to replace them so i got a good cts one in there and actually that big one there the reason it's kind of funky looking i just got happened to have a probably a lifetime supply of these they're 100 ohms they're really high quality this kind of stuff you'd find in test equipment you know gold pins sealed you know really really nice pots so in any case replace both of those trimmers so current setup hooked up the spectrum analyzer over here i've got the center of frequencies at 21.390066 because that just happens to be where the spur it, this and this radio when it was uh, before i even touched it that's where it had a spike at there and then one opposite you know on the upper side of the carrier frequency but the uh, you know, in the 50 to 60 megahertz range, second harmonics, was really absolutely nothing. So, you know, nobody's tinkered with any of the filtering circuit in this. But it did have those spurious emissions and at some oddball frequencies. So, I had the span set to 10 kilohertz. Let's see down here. So, AM mode, key the mic. So, you can see there's our spike. So we adjust that just so everybody else can see. I already have it adjusted for minimum at the moment. So I'm adjusting the driver right now. And you can see just, I'm barely even touching it. I mean, just, just the tiniest bit. I mean, I doubt it's even a hundredth of a turn. And you can see how it just it shoots up. You know, that's going to be minimum, you know, change in current draw. But it's making a big difference in the... Spurious emissions coming out of this thing. And then same thing, switch over to the final, one of the finals here, because this has two adjustments. You can see, just find that dip right about there. And the one, slide over to the other one. Find that dip right about there. So we have, what, about negative 20 dBm, looks like, you know, well, actually, just a peak. So yeah, right around 20 dBm, 19 to 20. Okay, so, what is the actual current draw? Because now it's been adjusted, hooked up to a spectrum analyzer, and using that for the adjustment. So now we'll pull the mirror board out, get a amp meter in line here. Check the driver current. Oh, wait a minute. I guess it might help if I wasn't in AM anymore. Okay, so now we're back in sideband. 49.9. Look at that, 50. Dead nuts. I mean, that doesn't get any better. That That's by that's to spec, because this calls for 50 milliamps, 50 milliamps, 50 milliamps. And of course, of course when you... Uh, I know you'll notice, Mark, but anybody else that's not familiar with it, there's two adjustments, one for each transistor, which you're supposed to do when you adjust it the, by the book method, which is the measuring current. You adjust these both so you have zero current draw, zero milliamps, then you adjust the first one for 50 milliamps, and then you adjust the other one so your reading's 100 milliamps. So basically, you know, once you have this one set to 50, you're going to bring the, the draw from 50 up to 100, and then that means both of these will be drawing 100 so, in any case, get the meter reinstalled here so you can see what the actual current draw is across both of the, fi both of the finals now. It is 125. So it actually turned out that these needed a little bit more bias 
you know, 125, 126, it'll usually rise a little bit as the transistor temperature changes. And yes, I'm at a, I think there's a loose wire in the damn microphone. I gotta, keeps beeping at me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna start using the spectrum analyzer to adjust the uh, driver and final biases on these. It seems to be much more, much more accurate. Now you can see, that actually, the driver, that was dead nuts on. The finals, though, these are requiring just a little bit more bias current, you know, to, to keep them with minimum amount of spurious emission. So I think I think this system is actually the way to go. So if you have a spectrum analyzer, you can, I'm not going to say throw your current meter away, your amp meter, but uh, if you have a spectrum analyzer, that's probably the best way to do it. Because, you know, I'm all about clean, clean signal going out. There's no need to be putting out any, you know, unneeded frequencies off channel. It, you know, it's just wasted power. So, uh, and besides that, if you get it to where the transistors have a minimum spurious emissions going out, that means they're operating in their happy range. You've got them at the, the perfect point where there's, you know, so if if nothing else, it's going to be easier on your driver and final transistors. Not only is your transmit signal going to be cleaner, you know, because it's going to be only what you want to transmit, it's also going to be easier on your transistors, so they'll last longer. So I just wanted to make a quick video for you. There, like I said, it's mainly for Mark. I know we've been talking about that. You you showed this in a video you did, so I thought I'd show you what my results were, and I'm happy with them. I think that's from now on what I'm going to do.